Hare Krishna. I told the first time I saw a temple in 1969, it said Sri Sri Radha Krishna Temple. This is in Haight Ashbury. And I saw that. And that's interesting. And later, not a little bit later, maybe a year later, so they had the Krishna book. And Prabhupada says in the beginning, he says, when people see a book like Krishna, they will say, who is Krishna? Who is the girl with Krishna? <laughs> it's that simple. I heard Radha Krishna temple. I know this is very interesting. Normally you would think God, the way we've conceived him, him up to, he'd be in the first position and, and probably that's it. Right? And others would be known in connection with him. But here it was Radha and then Krishna. Radharani first and then Krishna. Hare Krishna. So as Guru Omar is told, he realized this was a, uh, a revolutionary, world-changing uh, realization for him. The, he knows Sanyal is one of the senior devotees. And he's, con he's a professor He's considered to uh, know the Siddhanta of Srila Saraswati Thakur. And he's saying, we only know you. Without you, without Radharani, there's no Krishna. Right? Guru Maharaj once said, uh, uh, he said, with R Krishna without Radharani is half Mayavad. He said that one. He said, also, Krishna without Radharani is just Brahma. Or as Das Goswami again says, Bororu Bakarinapi, Bakarinapi, Baka, Bakari, the demon killer. Right? Not a very enchanting, charming uh, form. Ashabare Amrita Sindhu Mayi Katanchit Kalo Mayati Gamita Kila Sampratam He Tom Chait Kripa Mayi Vidasha Srinayiva Kimme Prane Brajena Chabororu Bakarinapi. So, my whole my aspiration is Radha Dasyam. That's why I live aspiring for the service of her holy lotus feet, without which none of these things are of any value to me. My life, what's more valuable than my life, Vrindavan, and what's more valuable than Vrindavan, Krishna. So generally we'll say, Krishna is the, uh, I mean, Vrindavan is the land of Krishna. Who's going to argue against that? But Bhaktivinoda Thakur says in his song, how do you know it's really Vrindavan? Radha Padman Kitadam Vrindavan Dharanam. Vrindavan proper is the soil that's enriched with the holy lotus feet, embellished with the holy lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Right? It's more beautiful, more substantial. There's a prayer of Brahma and a prayer of Uddhava seem to be Identical. They're very similar. Brahma's Tadburi Bhagyam, Ihijanma Kimbapyatavam, Yadgokulepi, Paramangri, something. I forget that. Anyway, he's praying to be a creeper, a blade of grass in Vrindavan, so he'll get the dust of the bridge bhasis upon him. And we can say, well, oh, that's just like Uddhava's prayer. In, in, in a general sense, it is. But if we refine it and look at it more closely, it's not the same as Uddhava's prayer. Because Uddhava says, Asamaho Charanarinu Jishamahangshang Brindavane kimapigula latosadinam yadushjajam swajanam arja patam chihitva 
Bejur Mukund Parivim Shuti Bir Vimrigriam. What the Vedas are searching for, Trigunya Vishaya Veda, nice Trigunya Bhavarjana. That's what it is. Tri Veda. Uh, uh. What they're searching for, these gopi girls of Vrindavan possess. So Uddhava, he's praying for the dust of the lotus feet of Radharani and the Braja Gopis. So his request is more specific. And actually, he wants the dust from their lotus feet. But he knows, since he's Uddhava, and he's an important personality from Dwaraka, confidant of Krishna. And these girls, they're simple, half-civilized jungle girls. They revere him. They would never give the dust from their feet. They would consider that offensive. So he knows he doesn't have a prayer, <laughs> a chance. So instead, he says, well, if I became a blade of grass here, then I could get the dust from their lotus feet. Because I know they won't give directly. And in the end, he's praising that feet dust. Bande nanda brajastrinam parenum abhikshnasa yasam harikato gitam punati bhuvanatayam. 